All righty, everybody, it is April 2nd, a beautiful Tuesday here in New York City, and our rundown is brought to you by Body Armor. And our friends at Body Armor are absolutely rocketed with their brand new zero sugar sports drink that provides real hydration with no artificial sweeteners, flavors, or dyes. Whether you're looking to stay hydrated or recovering after a long weekend, Body Armor Zero Sugar has got you covered with great tasting flavor, flavors like Fruit Punch and Lemon Lime. Body Armor Zero Sugar is available in stores nationwide. Head on over to Body Armor Store on Amazon and get yours today. Once again, head over to Body Armor Store on Amazon and get yours today. I got some cherry lime here, about to dive into that. Really quick. Would that not be delicious to mix with vodka? Just oh, smell. yeah. Give yeah, that a smell. Freaking make, phenomenal. Mix that with vodka? Yep. I would also mix this with vodka. Hydrate while you drink? Phenomenal. Yes. Oh, I wouldn't do that. You don't know what I got. Oh, oh you already and said? zero sugar. Oh, Jesus, I lost. You don't know what That's I got. delicious. B vitamins, antioxidants, the whole nine. Fruit punch and is very zero good. sugar. Fruit punch. This whole bottle is only 10 calories? Holy yeah. hell. A little bit of vodka. This thing is a perfect oh, time. Word. Okay. Anyway, shout out Body Armor, but let's move on to our first topic of the day. I think the biggest topic in the sports world. Um, last night, Iowa LSU, they had their battle, their rematch from last year's national championship game in beautiful, beautiful Albany, New York. Shout out Albany, New York. Um, Dave and Barstool Trent were there to catch it. Caitlin Clark had 41 points, 7 rebounds, 12 assists. Uh, Iowa is now playing UConn in the Final Four this Friday night. Haley Van Leith, the uh, girl in LSU, had a terrible game, 2 for 9, 9 points. And, um, yeah, obviously this game had a lot of implications. Last year, Kim Mulkey, the whole nine. What do we she got? She hates lesbians, right? Kim Mulkey? Isn't that her thing? She bullied all the lesbians on the team. <laughs> That's her. That's what happened, right? Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. And she hates the United States. They didn't show up for the uh, national anthem. That is sad to see. Yeah. You would have thought it was 2009 all over again. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if 2009 was your everyone's hurt. I think it was 2017. 2007. Oh, God. Yeah. You're about eight well, years off. About 10 years off. Really quick, before we get into the actual game, do I look like Caitlin Clark a little bit? You do have a Caitlyn Clark. My brother, no. my brother texted me. He's like, you look like Caitlyn Clark. You I was could like, easily shave and put on like a wig, which I know you're not above doing. And I think you would be a dead ringer for, uh, for Caitlyn Clark. I look a little bit like, no, nah, well. I don't think you like her at all. That right there, that's, 22? That's Pat. That, when, you do your, when you do your smirk like that. Yeah, kind of like that. I mean, I'll take it. She's like the greatest female basketball player of all time. But the game itself was pretty freaking great until like uh, Iowa pulled off yeah. at the end. They they got up like 10-11, held on to that. But the first quarter, I don't know if you guys watched the game. I was tuned. I was zoned in, Unreal. absolutely locked in. Real. Both teams were going up and down, three balls, three balls, three balls. As a basketball coach, I will say, Caitlin Clark. There was a few times where she just takes two steps past the logo and just chucks it up. Yeah. I'd maybe want to get a little possession going sometimes, but she just chucks it. There was no. Like, once she starts hitting, the offense is just her. And usually when she shoots, she's hitting. I'll, admittedly, I have not been following the Caitlin Clark song at all, so I wasn't sure what to expect. I took the under. Foolish. Um, but, yeah, I mean, seeing her, it was like Steph Curry-esque. She was just jacking it up. I didn't know she could shoot like that. I knew she was good, but my God. Big three or WNBA, what would you do? Uh, I would do Barcelona Intramural for $10 million. That's true. All percent on the table. Really? Yeah. Last how time do you I guys think you'd be compatible? I know they were saying how the best um, WNBA team couldn't beat the best high school basketball team, male high school basketball team. Well, how I mean, do those you are Barstool would do against Iowa right now. They will get bodied. It well, wouldn't. It would not even be. Close. Iowa will get bodied. Oh no! No, no. our team, our our intramural team. That's my question. Would get. We would lose by fifty. Okay. Smoked by them. It would be. But don't you have a lot of bodies that you can get physical with these girls? I mean, we have large. Guys, but these are not these are not men with stamina. Okay, and, so and also conditioning. But do you dangerous. agree that the best high school men's basketball team in the world, the best high, whatever it is now, and I don't know what it is. Probably like IMG Academy in IMG, Florida. Yeah. Is so that do you Flag think goes? that they? I don't know, but they, pretty they beat Iowa. Yes. Yeah. Well, those okay. are those are like those are also NBA. like incoming kids that are about to be in college basketball too, and about right, to be in right. the NBA. Yeah. No, I'm too. just saying. And also, and also to to bring that back, that if. The best high school team played us. We would lose by, we maybe wouldn't score. I haven't seen how yeah. good you guys are. I know We're since not. Mikey Fowler left, it's gone down a little bit. But uh, so after this is done, we don't have to care about women's basketball, right? <laughs> hey, we still got. A, we still got. There are some. Uh, there's some big storylines this weekend. Paige yeah. Buchers against Caitlin Clark this weekend. South Carolina is like unbeatable. They're playing on the other side Nothing of the bracket. Nothing like the LSU. Iowa story, no, though, right? No. I mean, does this game last night do more numbers than the Final Four? Yes. In the finals? Uh, Friday, Friday night maybe may do more hate. because UConn, has, UConn also has Bukers, who everyone also says maybe just as good as Clark. So that's like a superstar showdown on Friday. Right. But, and South Carolina is also – South Carolina is like unbeatable. Like before the tournament started, South Carolina was minus money to win the tournament. 
Yeah. Like, as good as UConn's doing in the men's, UConn was still like four and a half to one to win the title before this tournament. Yeah. South Carolina was negative money to win the title. Did they fuck up by not putting – so? but you guys would say LSU, uh, Iowa is the biggest – matchup that yeah. you can have in that bracket. Did they fuck up by not putting them on opposite side of brackets and hope for that final to blow no, up the world? No, because this was, I guess, no maybe guarantee. the only guarantee because yeah. there's no one's, up to want to hear, no one's really beating South Carolina. Apparently South Carolina is like unbeatable. But anyway. Enough. Also, do you know, uh, what's your name on LSU? Flage Johnson is like, oh, Great name. Flage is like a, an actual rapper for Rock Nation. She raps for Jay-Z. Really? I really? had no idea. That was popping up everywhere. Uh, moving on, the New York, my, my favorite baseball team, the New York Mets are 0-4, and they're trying to silence Frank the Tank. So the Mets, and I, we don't have this written down here, but i got to mention this as well. Mets are 0-4, all four home games so far in this season. We stink. i got to say, I, they did this last night. They did this Saturday, I believe, when they were losing. And last night it was a tie game going into the ninth inning. And we have Edwin Diaz, who's our great, he's an amazing closer. He has the whole trumpets thing. <coughs> and... Um, a few years ago, the Mets brought in Timmy Trumpet to play the trumpets live. Since then, it's become this whole thing with the trumpets when he walks into the game. Last night in a tie game in the ninth inning, we got a whole brand new light show and trumpets for when he comes in. Uh-huh. We did it on Saturday when I think we were losing and he came in. To have a closer walk in like Mariano Rivera, like a Sandman, like Billy Wagner used to do, like a Sandman, you need to be a good baseball team. Right. And winning the game in a safe situation. The fact that anyone on the Mets thinks this is a good idea to do a light show for a closer to come in in a tie game is is astronom it's it's astronomically dumb. It's 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 essentially I a celeb you're celebrating. I don't know your how life. anybody could think how anybody could say, "Oh, we have to do this. This is a good idea." And how any fan in, in the stands could cheer or it's a tie game. It's not a safe, it's not a safe situation. Anyway, and we have dancers now, right? And we have we have a dance we team. We had to now. stop the taping of the dozen last night so Frank could go on a 4 minute rant yes. about the dancers. But the team's 0 and 4, we absolutely stink. We kind of punted the season already last year. We basically said this is going to be a fake year anyway. But more importantly, apparently they're trying to silence the king. Frank said last night in a, t- in a rant, I have been told the directors on SNY have strict orders not to show me on TV again. He later went on to say, I'll become more powerful than they could ever imagine. <laughs> He's like Thanos <laughs> collecting Infinity Stones when his team's the devils kicked him out. Now the Mets are trying to silence him. He's collect- collecting Infinity Stones. He, that's such a, like, a, a cartoon villain thing to say. I'll become more powerful than they could ever imagine, and he will. Doesn't he have security when he walks through the stadium? I th- like, if he goes to the bathroom, Mets will give him security. He signed no way. 500, he yeah. Oh, yeah. 500 no selfies. Way. That, was, that was the game, I think, at the Yankee Stadium. The Mets don't like Frank. Like, Steve Cohen, Steve Cohen told them to be nicer to, the, be nicer to the team last year at a fundraiser. The Mets, I don't think the Mets are giving him security. Is Tank here? No. I don't believe so. I don't believe so. Frank I, I believe negative. the security game you saw last year was a Subway Series at Yankee Stadium. Oh, you're I right. Think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will tell you that this guy's reach now has gotten almost universal Frank the Tank. This weekend, I'm going to Martinsville for NASCAR, and Martinsville is a short track. It's the shortest track in the NASCAR schedule. It's only a half mile long. Frank's doing a Frank Walks with Denny Hamlin, who was last <laughs> week's winner and probably the most popular, the most hated driver, but because of the Netflix special, probably the most recognizable driver. And, you know, in NASCAR terms, front row, it's Frank, Denny, P3 and P4 is me and Spider. There's no fucking <laughs> questions. And so they're going to walk the, uh, which is very cool. I, I've never seen anything yeah. done like that before. Yeah. And Frank's going to, I mean, I guess maybe rate the Mar- Martinsville hot dog and stuff like that. He's everywhere all the time. Right. And also, obviously, a, a classic, as a Mets fan, a classic thing every year is KFC's console. And he has official console this season as well. So, yeah, Mets. Dead. Dude, Mets fans are the most, of no offense balls, the most obnoxious fucking people in the How are you this negative every year? I get your team stinks, but, like, try and switch the vibe up. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, usually a, a, I'm usually a good vibes fan, but this year they do suck. They're on, we're on four. Like, I was traveling this weekend. We're already, eight, we're already 0 4. You probably won't even watch a game. How many games are in a season? 162. 162, you're 0 4. Who cares? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I get it. Anyway, okay, moving oh, on. Voted best food in any major league ballpark. Yes, we have, a, we, have a, we have a deep fried rainbow cookie now. Oh, wait, really quick. We got Adam Richman doing burgers. We got Ann Burrell doing Italian. That's what we got. Really quick, before we go to the next thing, the most I've ever eaten in my entire life was at a Mets game in 2018 with Stu Finer and Frank the Oh, Frank. man. I had, I was like, I go, Stu, if I eat anymore, I'm going to throw up. And I had two Shake Shack burgers, a milkshake. Then he made me eat these pretzels, and he made me eat these brownies things. And I had to run to an apple pie with ice cream, and I yeah. had to run to the bathroom and throw now up. Now we go gourmet. We got, like, Mark Murphy stuff. We got yeah. Momofuku chicken. We got everything. 
But um, keeping on with the MLB topics, we have the MLB New Jerseys. Everyone's finally seeing them. I know everyone was freaking out about Fanatics earlier in the year. Now we're finally seeing them in action. And the, it just looks like a bad time. The players look like they've been taking a shower on the field. They just look drenched, gross. The lettering's all fucked up. They're all, they're all small. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's brutal. It looked like he swam to the game. Yep. And that, that's got to be a big thing. As a professional athlete, if, I'm, if my jerseys aren't receptive to sweat, that's not a jersey I want to wear. Right. Those are, uh, and now it's like you can like see like their balls and stuff. That was the early season mm-hmm. thing, right? They'll sweat and then they'll squat down and you can just see the balls. I don't hate it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Gay. And keep, keep in mind, it's April. This is going to be going on in July know, and in August. July, yeah. The fellows are going to be sweating up a storm over at City Field. What changed? Uh, just like the, the material, the lettering. Like, look how small that lettering is. The, the, but it's always been Nike, right? Um, like, I don't think it was uh, Reebok. And it was it New Era? I feel like it was New Era for a while. Oh, New Era. I don't really know. I, just, I don't know if New Era makes jerseys, but I think uh, Bethany the Hats are New Era. I don't really know what it was before. It's unacceptable. <laughs> right when you think about it, like they, you know, you only had one job. Used to be Nike. Nike. I thought you, I always thought you could. I thought you always thought you could pick your own manufacturer because in, in Seinfeld, George makes them change their. Uh, right. He makes Yankee, Yankees change their material. I thought that was allowed, but I guess not. Um, next up, we have a interesting story coming out of a uh, prison in Woodburn, <laughs> New York. So uh, Monday is the solar eclipse. Huge, ah, yeah. huge day. Everyone's freaking out about. It. People are traveling for it. People are flying for it. I am going to be on a flight from to Atlanta. I want to know if I'm possibly going to be able to see it. You will not. To Atlanta? No? Okay. No, so you're not in the that. band. So the band starts in the southwest of the country, then comes across and ends in the northeast. How long does it last? So when it's above you, the total eclipse, great song, um, will only be about a minute and a half where you can look directly at it because there won't be any sun. But the surrounding time where it's dangerous to look at the sun lasts about an hour. How do I know all this, you ask? They're closing some of the schools by me because when it's coming over northern New Jersey, it's coinciding with the 3 o'clock when the kids get out. And they don't trust these kids, high school kids, not only grammar school and middle school, high school kids, kids who can go to war, uh, to not look up and fucking blind themselves. My school system sent out today, Ridgewood, New Jersey, shout out, that they are keeping the uh, schools open on Monday, where other uh, other fucking counties are closing them, and it lasts a couple minutes. And the whole thing, what's the excitement? It's just you look at the sun, and it's blocked, and it's like you can a go cool through, thing. You can have the glasses, right? Remember Trump took yeah, off yeah, his yeah. glasses <laughs> and stuff like that, or you could do the pinhole camera yeah. and stuff. So there's other ways to look at it, but uh, but yeah. But I don't think any religions have anything to do. Like they these do. prisoners they are do. like. This is like Wait, saying I need to go to the nurse. We got to say what happened first. We haven't oh, said yeah, what yeah. happened. So, oh, sorry, prison. so the prisoners at Woodburn Collect- Correctional Facility, Woodburn, Woodburn, New York, are suing the prison, saying that uh, there's going to be a statewide lockdown that will occur during the time of the eclipse. They say it infringes upon their religious rights, and the moon represents different things in different religions. They named in the lawsuit. People named in the lawsuit include a Baptist, a Muslim, a Seventh Day Adventist, two practitioners of Santeria. And one atheist is still ongoing. No decision has been made. So the fellows, the prisoners, are suing the prison. They want to be able to see the eclipse. Correct. Yes, they want to be able to. Let them do it. They're going to win, too. You can say anything infringes upon your first I don't know. Night, that right? that sounds very like Shawshank Redemption. Everyone's paying attention to the eclipse and they sneak out. How about that? You think there'd be other things to sue, though, like particularly the rape, right? And the, and the terrible food. Yeah. yeah, how can prisoners sue? I didn't right. know that was... They got nothing but time in there. They probably studied the law. Probably fun to be able to figure out what can we sue the prison for. Now, yeah. if that's a thing, what can we sue? They're probably, this will open the floodgates, like Large said. I mean, you got, you know, the R's happening in there. Yes. The beatings. Right. Oh, the R's. Overcrowding. Yeah. This is a fun story out of the uh, Philippines. So a Filipino company <laughs> called Taragas posted a Facebook challenge on their website saying that if you get a tattoo of their logo on your forehead, they'll give you um, 100,000 Philippine pesos, which equates to about $1,800 in American money. A dude saw it, did it. Got the tattoo. He's tatted up now. And then they said, oh, it's April Fool's joke. We're not paying you. Then I guess after all the backlash, eventually the owner of the company met him in person and gave him $1,800, which they should have just done. And if he was the only guy that did it, it's 1800 bucks. Just give it away. The post said, click on the photo for official rules before doing this. And then the photo revealed April Fool's, like a cat meme or something like that. So it was as... So this guy just... It didn't, didn't, it, didn't, it. it just says there's a section of it, though. Like, I wanted to immediately click on click official rules. If I was, that, if I was that desperate... Head? Yeah! If I was that desperate for $1,800, I wouldn't have time to click on it. Yeah, you're exactly. In, you're oh. in a pinch if you're... You probably saw it and ran to the ink shop. the photo of it. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Oh, well, I, awesome hair. I'll also yeah. say it was the... Uh, 
it was the first person. Uh -huh. Oh, it said first person? <laughs> so he was probably in a hurry. So then why'd they even make it first person? It shouldn't have been anybody if they were trying oh. to stand by their April Fool's thing. Yeah, there he is. Oh, there's a good one of like him looking at the camera cross-eyed. Tattoo, a forehead tattoo must be fucking brutal too, huh? Right? Uh. I mean, there's just straight bone right there. <laughs> Look yeah. at this guy. Yeah. They did the right thing. $1,800 to make this go away. They should have um, doubled up. Hooked him up. Maybe threw him, right? yeah, maybe threw him. Yeah, throw him some extra coin. Yeah. That, like we just said, you know how much that forehead tattoo must hurt? Yeah. I didn't know Philippines had pesos. What does this company do? Taragas? It's like very confusing. Let me look up again. Tarag takoyaki. It's like Japanese food, right? Yeah, I think it's some kind of food. <laughs> what a fucking dope. Oh, they're on Facebook. Looks fun. It's yeah. A, it's a... Something? Yeah, it's some sort of Japanese delicacy. Takoyaki, though, I think are the octopus balls, right? Is that true? Yeah, I think so. Sounds good. Yeah. I saw a thing on Instagram for uh, people are now eating cow vagina. Really? Yeah. Not since college. Okay, oh, there we go. All right, uh, after show, Large and I want to discuss this, which looked great. I saw Annie post this yesterday on Instagram that uh, our good friend Brianna hooked up a your son, um, Finn, correct? Yes, yes my guy, Finn, he's, uh, he's 16, the huge Zach Bryan fan. It's the reason he plays guitar, the whole deal. So Annie and I, at Christmas, got him tickets to the Zach Bryan concert out in uh, UBS Arena. Um, right by me, Island. Long Island, baby. Yeah, yeah. And uh, paid like a grand for two seats. And right before we had gone, I think Annie and Brianna were chatting about going to Talladega. Brianna and Grace are coming to Talladega with us this year. It's going to be a fucking huge time. Um, and Annie's like, oh, I'm going to that show. And Grace and Brianna's like, are you fucking kidding me? Send me your license, the whole deal. Got him on the, they never used my seats, never resold them or anything like that. That money out the fucking window. And uh, got him on the floor. And then afterwards, got him backstage with Zach Bryant. I didn't realize how big a fucking star he was. And that's on me. I just know that my son loves him. This guy, I gotta be honest with you, I couldn't be more impressed with the way that Brianna had done that for my kid and the way this guy had treated my son. Like he had met Bruce Springsteen the night before. Yeah. And so my son was like, I can barely even talk. And he's like, that's how I was with Bruce Springsteen last night. Let's come, you know, and they were talking about music and stuff like that. So I'm not that this is uh, news to most people. Zach Bryan is a fucking gem. And so is Brianna. He's just good people. You know, and good people. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just good people. Yeah, I saw the photos. He was totally got, got a hugging photo. A couple yeah. photos look beautiful. Yeah. That no merch. Great. No free merch though. No free. No free <laughs> merch. <actually. laughs> they what I got? Maybe stretch. So did they say where they? Where did they watch the concert from? From the floor. So they had a All VIP right. section in that uh, standing room only. So he was probably like, you know, ten or fifteen feet. That's away even from better. While That's my awesome. seats were. Well, yeah, but yeah, but in your in up. your head though, like you 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 could say you paid for that experience. I did. Yeah. Right. yeah so who who exactly. cares? You know. Yeah. Like you paid for normal seats and you got a better experience, so money well spent. Yeah. He we'd gone to see some guy, uh, the week before, uh, Bailey Zimmerman. Another yeah. like country guy. Rock in a hard place. He has a great, great song. Yeah, we saw him at um, Hammerstein Ballroom. It was good. Uh, Youngstown Bob was there and stuff. So that was my first like new country show, and it's fucking rocking. Yeah. The last oh, it's country crazy. show I went to before that was Kenny Rogers at the fabulous Fox Theater, fucking Atlanta in like 2001. It's it's all different world oh, now. No. Everyone's sexy and it's good. Time. I go all the time. It's yeah, yeah. amazing. Great, like great Hardy, stuff. Morgan Wallen, Nick, um, yeah. Luke Holmes, Ernest, they're all amazing. Yeah. Concerts so, are a blast. So shout out to Brianna and to, uh, and to Zach and, and to Finn. They had a good time. Yeah, shout out to yeah, Finn. Yeah. And, and I saw Annie said that seeing Finn have his best day ever made it one of her best day ever. So I was like, damn. Yeah, that was, that was, that was a heartwarming thing okay, to say. Yeah, yeah. That was something that made me, want, made me want to have a kid, you know? <laughs> yeah. Made me want a child. For a split second. For a split, for a few seconds. Yeah. But um, hey, I guess that's it. And, and you guys got anything else you want to discuss on this beautiful uh, April speaking second? Of kids, my kid called me up today, a kid who's in Alabama said, can I go out to uh, Phoenix for the Final Four game? I said, no. Fuck you. Nice, right? Watching Tuscaloosa yeah. bang for your fucking... That's also honestly pushing. true. Like, why, why would he want to go? Yeah. It's not like, he, you know, it's, it's not, not like, like you're celebrating win. in stores, right? You're down in fucking Tuscaloosa. Even right? that, too. Like, like, respectfully, even if... I get it if it's maybe a... That's a death song. That's a it's, ball, it's, a pick, yes. it's a pick em, but let's call it spade a spade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. I... Yeah. <laughs> it's a very minimal chance of getting excited about that. <laughs> How long of a drive is it? From Phoenix to, to Phoenix. Tuscaloosa. Wait, I like playing this game. Let me try to guess. This is one of my favorite things to do. Ooh. Really? I'm guessing it's uh, 13 hours and six minutes. Tuscaloosa to Phoenix. I am going to say. Do you have it, Sean? 
I'm going to say 1720. I'm going to say 21 hours. To Phoenix. Tuscaloosa is fairly north Alabama. You got to go through. How long or how many miles? How, how long the drive is. You, you got to go through. Duration. Wait, wait, wait. One sec. One sec. One sec. One sec. I think it I was is. short. Wait, you got to go through. Wait, you got to go through. Wait, I'm going to add an hour. I forgot Mississippi. I'm going to say 1840. You got to go through Mississippi, Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico. I'm going to add. I'm going to change mine. I'm going 2120. Hit me. I have it as. Exactly. I have it as 23 2. I have it as exactly 23? 24 hours. No way. Let me see that. Exactly. One day, no tolls. You got to make it go from there to Arizona, just straight through. All of Texas. All All of Texas. Yeah, Texas has to be. You figure out how wide those states are. Yeah. All right. Lots of rundown.